What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic. I want to thank everyone for all the love and support on this series. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. Why not? The buttons are right next to each other. Just hit them both. You know what I'm saying? If you're not subscribed already. If you're already subscribed, don't hit the subscribe button because then you'll unsubscribe and then you won't get any more videos. Like, I don't know how. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you to do. All right. We have an issue right now with the modern home that I've been working on for the past two weeks. Um, there are four pegs of the build that are made in the Grego mod. Now, since the beta, I'm in the uh, current beta build for the workshop, and right now it's not loading up until the Grego mod gets updated, and then I'll be able to hop back into it. So I decided, since I can't mess around with the modern home, I might as well mess around with a current home. I mean, why not? Now, this is based. This, if this looks familiar, it should, because I based this off of just a basic ranch house, you know, a little rancher, but uh, a rancher out of Fallout 4. Um, that's what it's based off of. I also have Auto NL's cars in here. I have a, his hot rod that I just painted white with a little red stripe. I think it fits a little bit nicer than the dark black mean looking bad boy he had there. And also, the uh, he has a voxel uh, little pixel art Bel Chevy Bel Air. Little tiny car right here, man, and it fits perfectly into the driveway. And I said, well, well why not? Why not? Why not? Now, how did I mess up? I messed up because I built this entire thing on a slab and on a lift, okay, um, so that I could upload it to the new workshop, and so I can have a nice little home, and people can then just take this home and just drop it right into uh, the, the this drone right here, and then they can, uh, you know, do what they will. But um, it was causing such frame rate, such lag, because when you take it off the lift, it just crashes. It, like it, it <laughs> it'll crumble worlds. Um, so it was, I have 60 frames per second right now, it was giving me about 5 when I took it off the lift. But, what I did was, this is also a Retro Specs' uh, workshop uh, ROAD. What I did was I connected, there's a, you know, if you take a little block right here. And then, boom. And then you weld this piece to something that's grounded. This then becomes part of the ground and now I can't, I can't lift this up off, I can't. I can't. Oops, I'm, I'm, I'm tearing it. You're tearing me apart over here. Uh, so I can't put it back onto the lift. So when I. Is that the right one? It is. So when I attach this home to the road, this road was a part of the ground, and then automatically that becomes a part of the ground too. The block that I had that was connecting it, uh, I got rid of that block, and it still didn't do anything. So now this cannot be lifted up and it cannot be added to the Steam Workshop because it has to be able to get onto a lift in order to be in the Steam Workshop. So, the world download will be in the description down below if you'd like to mess around with this and decorate it to your leisure. Uh, yes. So that's how I done goofed. I done goofed. I want to try to put a little house on the Workshop and I just could I, I, I messed up. I messed up, bro. You messed up, bro. You messed up, dog. I know. I know. So we have a little bit of foliage here when we're going up here. Lots of little grass and a little... little Little bushes, bushes, and then we have some extra little mini trees here. Maybe some acacia trees, I'm not sure. If we go around the back with a little bubble glass, I haven't messed around with too much of the glass on this right hand on this side here. That's fine though, because I have plenty of glass here for a bedroom and for the dining room, and of course for the drive away. And I'm kind of contemplating putting fence up around. I think I'm just gonna put some fence around here. White picket fence, you know, the American dream. And very, very nifty, very spiffy. I like it. Now, right here, it looks like a camera, but the camera is a sensor. Sensor then will we'll read you. And then you can hop right in. Beautiful. And it's on a timer, so then that will automatically close as well. On the left hand side, it kind of looks like a little Fallout. A little Fallout 4. Little fallout for a little little house, little room for you to decorate, my friends. This is just a facade, a facade, uh, if you will. Uh, in the game, I was looking at some screenshots and I hopped into uh, Fallout 4 myself just to see what it's like before. And the ceiling is actually like a gray kind of metalish, but the, I didn't want to have all metal and gray up here, so I just went with a straight concrete. Just a straight concrete ceiling, y'all. 
and then concrete floors with of course the uh, spray painted red to make it look like carpet and then if you put a border around that spray it looks like it's actual carpet and not just concrete you know what I mean there are not a whole lot of moving parts in here uh, not a whole lot of doors that open up but we do have doors that open up to the side they'll bring out to the driveway that'll automatically close see if we get in before it closes very good very good indeed we have a little dining area here so you and your family can come and sit down and enjoy about and talk about the day day at hand you know we have a little lonely island here in case you want to uh, you know eat a little breakfast a little breakfast nook a little breakfast island very good and then yeah I try to make these kind of look like bookshelves I want to have the controllers look a little bit like books so I just colored them a little bit differently we all know that they're not really books but I mean what do you want there's no books in the game Let's spray paint some of these things and so give them some color. Let's just give it some color. I like it. Oh, I like, you know what? Let's just keep you yellow. I like you just the way you are. All right. Here to the left, we have the bathroom. We have a little tub with a shower. And, of course, a toilet. Hmm. Should probably have, like, a little magazine rack or something right here. A little sink. Um, the reason why there's not a whole lot of detail was because I was having a bunch of issues with the lag in the frames and was just not feeling it. Like I was just having not a good time to the point where um, I, was, I started building this off the uh, off the lift and I don't recommend that ever again because the lag that can be created is so harsh that it almost makes it it's it's unplayable really. It's really unplayable. I like this little feature here with the little pole right there. I learned that from ye old mama. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She taught me how to do that. She's like, yo, water looks like water pouring out. It's just a table that going into some water. It looks like it's pouring. It's raining, it's pouring. Got a little mirror here. A little tiny mirror. A little tiny sink. Should probably do something else with this. Should probably do something. A little something, sex, little something sexy. You know what I'm saying? Not a me. Not a me, bro. Let's go ahead and let's try it at least. What do you say? Boom. A boom, a boom, a do do do. Boom, boom. Okay. So now we can go ahead and we can try to color this. And now it looks kind of like a '50s bathroom. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yay! That's what you're going for. That's what you enjoy. Heck yeah! Hell yeah! Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Hmm. Nope, it still counts as the sink. You know what? We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's going to be fine, folks. We're going to get through this together. All right, so let's get on out of here. Now, all the controllers are all hooked up to the, the books, if you will. So, all of them serve a purpose and to try and make them aesthetically pleasing. Let's go ahead, and I forgot to color this bookshelf as well, so that we don't see it. Because now it just looks like they're floating. It just looks like they're floating in midair. We can't have that. We can't have that. All right, bedroom this is the second bedroom here, or the master. It's all depending on your specific wants, cares, needs, enjoyments, likes. You know what I mean? Nothing too fancy. Just a giant room, empty space. This is like diesel realty over here. We're, re we're making some real changes to the neighborhood. And of course, it could be the master. It could not. Uh, it's all up to you. It could be a place for your for your baby to be stolen by uh, by terrible, terrible ter terrorists. By yeah, yeah. Fallout 4. Fallout 4. If you haven't played Fallout 4, you won't get that. I barely got it out of my mouth. So, that's it. It is an empty canvas, a blank canvas, if you will. And I would love to see screenshots of, if you decide you want to download this and then make it your own, you, by all means, you can uh, tweet at me, at Diesel Designs MC, and send me some screenshots. I would love to see different kinds of things that you have made inside of my little hoose. Little hoose that I've created for you. Boom. Boom. Is everything, everything else is metal. Everything else is just gun gray, baby. Just going gray, baby. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so the uh, the roof. Uh, uh, coming through here. Are you alright? 
Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> I hit the sensor. The sensor then kind of made it go a little wonky. Um, the roof, it's just a basic L shape. Now, in the Fallout 4, there is an area that's like elevated above here, but I wasn't going to plan on making a roof. Oh, what did I do over here? Hello, you. Hello, you. I didn't notice you. Hey, buddy. Why aren't you black like the rest of your buddies? There you go. Now you're pretty. Now, um, <clears throat> there's an area in the back of the one house here that has like it's just elevated and ha almost looks like a second room. Uh, I have the elevated window up here. That's basically for an attic, a basement. It's a facade. It's fake. It's a faux window. It does nothing. It goes to nowhere. It's just to make it look pretty on the outside, as we all like to be. No, um, let's see here. So, uh, how I kind of even it out is that this is 42. Uh, this is 43 blocks wide, okay? So if I want to make a nice little L shape, this also has to be 42, uh, 43 blocks wide so that that way it evens out at the end and connects up and makes it all pretty. So wherever you're trying to make an L shape, if say like uh, you want to make a giant building and you want to do a little curvature that's going to be perfect, perfect and pretty, right down the line, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you got to make sure you got to even it out and measure twice, measure three times. Measure twice, cut once. That's what they always teach you. That's what they always teach you in, in high school. In woodshop. So folks, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button. It helps my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Uh, I want to apologize again for the modern home. It, is, it will be coming back once the Grego mod gets updated with the new patch for the beta. Um... And also, I apologize for not having this be able to uh, put it up on the workshop. You know, growing pains, just trying to figure stuff out, and uh, I, I, mess, I goofed. I was trying to trying to get some frames rolling, you know? So, I'm planning on making an entire neighborhood. Neighborhood. I think that would be kind of nifty. We can make an entire neighborhood of cars and, and, and hooses. And all I really have to do is just make one, because you can cut, copy, paste. So, uh, folks... Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, light, shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in the lovely town of Dieselton. Let's, let's make some Dieselton. Mm, mm -hmm. And scrap mechanic next time. Oh, yeah. Yo, this thing hauls butt. Woo! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, where are you going there, buddy? Nice.